is sine and cosine rules are not to be confused with the trigonometric ratio sine equals opposite over hypotenuse and cos equals adjacent over hypotenuse. All right, these are different. These are for non right angled triangles, okay? Whereas the Sokotoa is only for right angled triangles. So this is for non right angled triangles, and the same naming conventions as I talked about at the start apply here. Okay, so this is where it really starts being important that you remember where and what these angles are, okay, and what they actually mean. So what this is all about is with the sine rule has this formula, A divided by sine A equals B divided by sine B equals C divided by sine C, okay. So you don't always, you don't use all three of them, you only ever use two of these parts at any given time. So the easiest way to explain how you go about this is to actually do a question. So I'm going to do question 1A for you, or with you I should say. So this is a non-right angle triangle, okay, where x is there, this is 9 centimetres, this is 40 degrees, and this is 110 degrees, okay. So we're just going to label some sides. Let's say this is A and this is B. Okay, so that means that 110 is angle A and that 40 is angle B. That means this side over here, this 9, is side B and this X is actually side A. So we're only going to use the first two parts of the sine rule, which, remember, you only really ever use two. So if we're doing this, we go X divided by sine of 110. Okay, so pull A divided by sine A. And that equals 9 divided by sine of 40. So if we want to rearrange that to get x on its own, the first thing we do is we multiply that over to the other side. So x equals 9 sine 110 all divided by sine 40. Alright, so that'll give us an x value. So I will calculate that and be back with you in just a second. Right, so that comes out at x being 13.1571 centimetres. Okay, so that's finding a side using the sine rule. What if we need to find an angle? It's really the same process. So this time I'm going to draw a triangle again. Okay, L, M, N. Okay, this angle in here might not look it, but it's 128 degrees. Okay, angle N there. Side M, which is over here, is 14.1, and side N is 27.2. Okay, so I'll label them for you. So that's M and that's N. Now, we've got L, M, and N. I mean, our sine rule is A over sine A and B over sine B and C over sine C. None of those have L, M, or M in them. So what do we do? Well, it's really quite simple. All you do is you use the letters you have. So let's start with M over sine M equals N over sine N. Okay, so that's the same rule, same ratio, same everything. All we're using is different letters, which is perfectly reasonable to do if this question gives you different letters to work from. So let's pull, pull in our numbers. 14.1 divided by sine m, because we don't know m, or angle m, equals 27.2 divided by sine of 128. Okay, so if we then do what we did last time, Okay, the first thing I'll do is I'll multiply that over there. So 14.1 equals 27.2 sine m divided by sine 128. Okay, then I'm going to multiply that over there. So 14.1 sine 128 equals 27.2 sine m. And then I'm going to divide by 27.2. So 14.1 sine 128 divided by... 27.2 equals sine m. So if I calculate this now, I get 0.408491 equals sine m. So m equals sine to the minus 1 of 0.408491. So m is going to equal 24.1101 degrees. Okay, so angle m you can't see it, is 24.1101 degrees. So it's the same process, it's just basic algebra working your way through step by step. Now I'm sure you guys can use your calculator to better effect than what I am here, I'm just showing you each and every step. If you want your calculator to do your solve, put your whole string there for M, 
then it will actually work it out for you in theory.